Yeah, there everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough at Star Division 5-2! Let's go! Right now. Well, whenever this loading screen passes. Yeah, and these are definitely loading screens. I can hear the Wii working like crazy to get it started. <laughs> All poopers. Are you all right, sir? Thank you for your help. Wait, we helped him? Must have been during the transition or something like that, because I didn't see us help him. We just sent up, kind of like stood there and said, "Hey, are you okay?" I oversee the sanctuary just up ahead. No, he's around, I'm sure. It's too late. What? Has already been opened. Come on now. But what will happen then? Too late to save Grandpa. Too late to stop the Moon Kingdom from opening. These villains are turning out to be pretty good. Indeed. No matter what, no matter how much power he could possibly get, we will defeat him. After all, this is a video game. <laughs> it kind of comes with the territory, you know, the game gives you a way to win. Not to break the fourth wall or anything like that, just how it rolls. <laughs> Basically, there's a level gimmick here where, um, at nighttime, when there's an eclipse of sorts, I guess you could call it, because it, it transitions from day to night very quickly, what'll happen is that enemies like this will become invincible, but they'll become a lot more predictable, but the thing is that they... Ow. <laughs> but the thing is that they, um... Oh, so she's just like that up there, that guy there is, uh... I can't get back up there now, can I? Well, that's okay, I don't really need to anyway. At least I don't think I have to. Like, when they're like this, you can't do anything about them until they transform back. You gotta wait for that, and then, then use the enemies as you please. That's the gimmick of this place, and they're sticking to it. And that switch opens up this block, if you didn't know that. And I'm going to jump up there. These dots turn into platforms at night, but otherwise they're just regular old dots during the daytime. As you'll see shortly, like that, see? And that's another part of the gimmick here, is the night and day aspect. And I just move that block over. Delightful! And I can move on just like that. Don't have to wait for anything. Alright, that's good. At least, I don't, I don't think I missed anything. Not yet, at least. I hope I didn't miss anything. I believe I have to go into this door first before I drop down onto that platform or walkway, whatever you want to call it, because there is some goodies. And you definitely want the goodies, especially when you're doing a 100% walkthrough. <laughs> um, that way or this way, I don't know if... Oh wait, this takes me back around, okay. So that's that's in case I miss the, the goodies inside that area. Alright, I am learning the area, and I completely missed that egg. <laughs> wow! By the way, I'm not, I don't remember if I explained before, but those gold guys that you see there, they are, um... They take two hits to knock off their armor. There's like a gold layer of armor, then it goes back to the silver one. And then, uh, it turns into a normal blue enemy guy friend like that. Yeah. Just thought I would show that off. They they usually aren't worth killing unless they're really, really in your way. <laughs> um, I'd like to wait to grab a chickadee. Oh, wait, that guy's coming up from underneath, isn't he? Go away, go away, go away! Okay. <laughs> wait for the burner. 
jump onto the burner. Surprisingly, it does not melt your shoes. And get back over. Good. It's always nice to have an enemy as like a little added extra bit of protection to make sure that you don't, you know, undershoot your jump and die. That's why I typically wait to grab enemies so I can get more spring in my step. Checkpoint! And I want to get that guy out of my way. So that's one of the kinds of places that you want to get a guy just to you know, kill the other guy because otherwise he'll be drastically in your way. And okay. So I have to make the most of that bonus as whoa as I possibly could. I forgot about that. <laughs> I thought that was actually gonna fall. It was like some sort of booby trap or something like that, but it's not. It's just a really odd platform. Um over here I definitely want to get the prize of awesomeness up here. Two more to go. At least I think. The numbers of them vary greatly. Well, okay, not that greatly, but enough to throw you off. Kill that guy. Dang it! That guy is terribly in the way. Um, I believe I can just cross over now and use the other guy to my advantage when he turns back into a normal guy. There's a lot of guys in this game, in case you didn't realize it by my commentary. <laughs> and there we go. Because that guy really, really gets in the way of the door. Good. Do I want to go up there? I'm pretty sure I want to go up... What's down there? I don't know. I'm scared I'm going to miss something. What? What is your purpose in life? Oh, I see, I gotta do a double jump to get up to there. Yeah, there we go. Delightful. Uh, and I need another guy here. <laughs> Birdie, help me! Yeah! Get that switch to open this pathway, I guess. Woo! And... I, I don't know if I want to jump off on the second layer or... Go around the go around the upper path just yet. I'm a little bit confused of this layout. It's kind of maze-like, and my sense of direction is horrendous. In case you don't realize that from my other walkthroughs, like, do I want to jump down there? And no, wait, wait, that's that's the path blocked over by the block. But wait, 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 do I, did I take the path? I don't remember if I took the path over with that door. Did I? Ah, I'm not... Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm just gonna wing it here, I guess, and... Okay, that block opens that, so... I'm just gonna check for the heck of it, because I see that critter is there, and I can use him to jump up there, or jump back up there if I need to. I just want to make sure that I... Okay, this is new. <laughs> Okay, what's in the other path? I must know what's along the other path now. Oh, so that takes me over to here, which gives me all the trapped villagers. Awesome! <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything more of note to do in this level that I'll otherwise be showing you, other than I'll just hit that thing right there, and I need an enemy to open that up, which doesn't give me anything, apparently. Well, it gives me a heart, of course, but I mean, you know, nothing that's worthy of 100%ing the area. Because, you know, I already got all the uh, trapped villagers. Re-hit that switch. Use it as a platform to get up here. Otherwise, you can't get up there, despite it looking like you can. It's very mis uh, very deceiving. <laughs> that actually had me puzzled there for a second. I didn't... For some reason, I didn't think of hitting that switch from that side on my first run. I just didn't get that. I thought I, thought I needed to like, take an enemy with me, but it just never worked out because it turned from day to night too quickly. And then, you know, I lost the enemy by the time I got to the other side, and... Then I wasn't able to go over there. Checkpoint! Uh, you, your objective is to get up there by the other checkpoints. Ironically. 
but you can't get up there without that enemy in the cage, and that's the only enemy in this area that you can use. And you notice that that switch just opened that cage ever so slightly, and that's the gimmick of this area here, is that you have to hit all the switches to open that cage and unleash the hounds upon the world. And actually, it's not really much of an enemy there. <laughs> All right, wobbly critters. I'm just going to leave you alone now while I hit the switches, if you don't mind. I don't know if you're actually guarding the switches in the slightest, because if you are, you're not, you're not doing a very good job of it. And you probably should be fired. Now I have to wait for this to turn to daytime. Looks really cool at nighttime, I have to say. Look at the background. Heck, it looks pretty dang good during the daytime, too. <laughs> All right, I got myself a critter, and I intend on using it. Checkpoint, and I believe it's boss time. Or it's coming to the boss. Extra life. Just jump over where you see the streams of fire coming out, because, you know, in case the fire does come out while you're in front of them, you won't actually be in the line of fire anyway. Yeah, that was sort of a pun there. Alright, boss time! We finally made it to the altar! Woo! The little brats again. Gaius! You failed me, Joker. My lord! It's just that these children are Oh dear. The songstress is in my power. And within the moon kingdom lies the egg of destruction. Soon it will reveal its true form to the world. The time has come. Gaius! Oh, no, we have to go after him! How do you catch a guy that teleports anyway? Looks like it's finally us. Versus the Joker. His voice is a lot different now that he's powered up too. Oh my. Alright, this is, as you can tell, the Joker. All you have to do is throw enemies at him, but you have to time it so that it doesn't hit his fists. You gotta do something like that to hit him, but if you hit a fist, it'll get deflected, and yeah. It's a pretty straightforward boss overall until you get to uh, the point where he transforms into a different invincible critter. You'll see when he, when he gets to that point, it'll happen, believe me. <laughs> And I'm just going to try to get as many hits in there as possible before he does that. It's, it can be a little tricky to time your throws because of the fact that it, the throws are very light and airy, so it takes a while for them to get there. And here's his transform state. Now, you'll notice that the blocks on the floor will change color. You want to change them back all to yellow. And jump over his scythe-like iron. Whoa! Scythe-like arms, 
as you transform them back to yellow, and you'll also in the uh, darkness form here in the eclipse state, the enemies are completely invincible, meaning that you cannot pick them up and throw them at him as before. That's why you want to press these panels, because apparently pressing these panels will, uh, I don't know, control the sun or something like that. <laughs> Now, I know it has something to do with the magical properties of this place. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Man, it takes a while to transform these panels on each cycle, so... Make sure to be as careful as you possibly can to conserve your health in case you have issues. This boss is definitely a step up compared to the other bosses we faced in the past. Uh, jo Joker is indeed turning out to be a pretty worthy adversary. And now he is jumping over my sh ah! jumping over my shots as well as uh, blocking them pr quite profusely. Hey, yeah, delightful. And I'm going to try to hit him from here. Yes, I think one more hit should do it. Please don't transform again. Yes, got him. That's what you get for blowing up my grandpa. It, it appears that my time has finally come to an end. Defeated, disgraced, humiliated. Repeat what I just said a minute ago. <laughs> so, it would seem the time has come. Listen closely. To the sound of the Moon Kingdom reawakening. Soon, you will also be in darkness, in nightmares. In a world of destruction and nothingness. Say hello to the Moon Kingdom. I hope Pamela away! <laughs> and that's the end of the level. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we start the Moon Kingdom.